Douglas and Candace McDuffie are here, and they come forward with their daughter, Elsie Carter. We'll let you all stand at the baptismal font. And they're surrounded already by a family of love. We welcome the grandparents who are here today, Dennis and Betsy Brott, and also Sharon Meisenheimer. We're glad to have you with us. And Erin McDuffie, who is an aunt, is going to come and stand representing uh, as the family as the godmother. And Charlene Toby is going to come and stand representing the session and the Baptism Guild. And I'm grateful for the other aunts and great aunts and family members who are here and friends in this congregation. We are grateful for the many ties that we share with this family and have for so many years. Friends, baptism, baptism is given to us by our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, go and baptize in my name and make disciples of all nations. When we gather at this baptismal font, we remember that what God did in the life and the death and the resurrection of Jesus, He did for this little girl in particular. Please pray with me. Oh God, we thank You that You give us one another and that You call us together as Your family. And we thank You for this family sign of baptism, so much more powerful than anything else we might wear. We thank You for the way in which Your Spirit moves through it and for the story of Your saving action in our histories. Here we remember our own baptisms, and here we remember Jesus Christ. And we pray that You would take this water and set it apart from a common to a sacred use. Grant that what we do here on earth might be ordained in heaven. For we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you all step over this way. Just, if just step over a little bit. So, Candace and Douglas, as you bring your daughter forward for the sacrament of baptism, I ask you if you're able once again to profess your own faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Are you? Yes. And will you seek to raise her in the nurture and admonition of the Lord? Will you seek to raise her in the Christian faith? Will you? Will. And you also have the opportunity to make promises. As the family of love that God has surrounded this couple and this little girl with, as the representatives of the body of Jesus Christ around the world, as the big brothers and big sisters in faith who are here today to watch the baptism with her, are you able to pray for this little girl as she grows up? Are you able to pray for her parents as they partner with God in raising her? Are you able to lift up the example of your own character, the way you act in the community, that seeing it, seeing this family of love? She might be able to grow in faith and wisdom and stature herself. Can you help to ensure that there exists a church in the world where she can grow up and learn the stories of the Bible? If you can support them in this way, please signify that by saying, I will. I will. Good. What name shall be given to this child, her full name? Elsie Carter McDuffie. Elsie Carter McDuffie child of the covenant, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the Spirit of God descend upon thee and dwell within thee forever. <laughs> Douglas and Candace are both landscape architects, and I can't resist saying, look what you grew. <laughs> <laughs> This is Elsie Carter, all right, and she is going to grow up as one of God's children. We'll welcome her by singing. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but He is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible. Please pray with me. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of this moment. 
to be able to be here with Elsie Carter and to gather with her family. We pray that you'll see her safely through childhood and adolescence and help her to grow in wisdom and character and faith before you. Bring her to her own good confession of faith, perhaps even before this community. And we pray also, Lord, for the parents and all who will partner with them in raising her before you. Give them the gifts they need for this task. Give them wisdom and energy and forgiveness and patience and faith and hope and love and laughter and imagination. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would help them to be faithful to the task of raising this precious child before you. We pray not only for this little girl and for all of the children of this church, but for others who are not so clearly surrounded by love today, children who are in harm's way, who are living in the midst of violence or even war. Oh Lord, use us as a part in some way of answering their prayers and their cries. Help us to reach out in the love of Jesus Christ to them. For we remember how he said, let the children come to me, do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. This is a wonderful thing that God has done. <laughs> she is a sign of God's goodness to us. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you for sharing her. Thank you, boys and girls.